Good morning. On today's episode of The Plunge, I'm going to talk about when, how long, what temperature, and how often. So, let's get started. So I made some notes today. So when do I do it? Um, try to do it first thing in the morning. Uh, it's 7.30 today. It's a Saturday. They say the most successful people do the most important things before breakfast. So I think this is an important thing. I don't do it every day before more, before breakfast, but uh, sometimes I get to work to work out. Um, if I don't do it first thing in the morning, I do it immediately when I get home from work. Um, later in the day, uh, they say it keeps you up late at night because it, it energizes you. Um, so that's when. Try to do it in the morning for me. Works best for me. If not, uh, early afternoon. Um, I try not to do it right after a workout. Um, they say it... Uh, it hinders muscle growth. Uh, you want those muscles some time to, uh, to recover on their own and not, you know, get hindered by the, uh, the cold. Um, how long? Uh, I typically try to do it three to five minutes. Um, I have a timer set. Um, I can typically tell how long I've been in here. Um, I've done it enough. So, Unless I'm doing a video like this, sometimes I run long six, seven minutes, which is fine. Uh, anything longer than that, I've tried it. It just takes longer to warm up. Um, and, and I think that that's not a benefit anymore. Um, it actually could be dangerous. Um, so safety is definitely a thing. You know, I see guys trying to go for 20 minutes, 10 minutes. You know, Don't do that. Uh, if you're going to have someone here to help you, um, but as a general routine, don't do that. Um, so three to five minutes, um, start slow. You know, I've been, I've done cold showers for the last couple years, so it wasn't hard for me to start and get that long. Um, you know, maybe started two minutes, three minutes, but three to five minutes, pretty easy. Uh, temperature, again, I've, I've done cold showers for a couple of years. Um, I have a hard time getting the shower cold enough. Um, surprisingly enough, at work, the uh, city water is colder than our uh, well water. Not really, but uh, it has to do with our, our shower here. It mixes, uh, the way it mixes the hot and cold, it doesn't let it get that cold, which is too bad. Um, so right now I have it set at 38. Um, I started at 36, I think I hit it up to 40. Um, Honestly, I couldn't tell the difference between any of those. So right now it's at 38. Feels pretty good for me, so that's what's working. Uh, I have no intention of uh, changing that anytime soon. So um, how often? Um, I'd love to do it every day. Um, but honestly, life gets busy. Things happen. Um, so I'd say on average five days a week. Um, Maybe some weeks four, some weeks seven. So, um, so it feels good uh, to do it every day. I can tell days when I don't do it. Um, I'm tired. I'm sluggish. Maybe not as focused. Um, because it really does. It does wake you wake you up. You know. Um, I feel more awake now after four and a half minutes in here uh, than when I got it than when I got in, so um, it does help. Um, I guess that's all I wanted to talk about today, so, um, you know, once you get started in your plunge, uh, you'll find a routine, you'll find a temperature, you'll you'll find how long it works for you. You know, some people only do it a minute or two. That's great. 
Um, if you're getting benefits out of that, why change it? Um, so, you know, big thing, be safe. You know, we're doing this for a reason. So, um, yeah, so coming up on five minutes here. So actually writing some notes today, I think, kept me on uh, track to keep it five minutes. But... People have asked what music I listen to. I love this pan flute music when I when I cold plunge. Um. So yeah, I hope this helps. You know, if there's anything that anybody ever has questions about, I'm no expert. There is no, you know, this isn't something done by millions of people and the right or wrong way to do things, so, um, take care, enjoy, have a good day.